Hi, I, I'm really, really bad at uh, doing things on one take. This is like my fourth take. Let's hopefully this will work. But uh, yeah, hi everyone. It's Austin, Lizard Guy Variety Show. Yeah, seven people who are subscribed to me know me as uh, maybe eight or nine after this video. Highly doubt it though. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my ball pythons. This might be a quick video. Just want to get something out there because I think they're really cool. Um, I kind of dropped the idea of breeding them because I just didn't. I just didn't feel like I have the time, I guess, to do that or the real ambition to do it. Like as much as I want to, it's like I just can't really see myself doing it because I would have to start breeding rats and mice and stuff like that and then worry about you know working them up you know the ball pythons and being picky eaters and whatnot but anyway that's another story i just want to show you guys my uh my ball pythons so i have three uh one's uh name is alistair i'm going to show you first Second one is would be Tacoma, and then last but not least would be Cheddar. And I will, one's a Mojave, a Mojave, uh, Mojave Leopard, is Alistair, and then Tacoma is a, a Blue Eyed Leucistic, which Mystic, Russo, and Mojave in the, to the mix. So she's she's very pretty. Uh, and then we got uh, Cheddar, who's a banana, banana 100% pet pied. So we'll just see how that goes. So stay tuned. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's okay, baby. It's okay. Okay, baby. So this is a uh, this cinnamon bun right here. This is Alistair. Uh, he is a Mojave uh, Mojave leopard, as you can see. He's uh, kind of coiled up. It's uh, you know they're nocturnal, so basically that means like they're awake during the nighttime, you know, does pretty much elementary stuff. But yeah, he's he's in his he's in his ball right now. Very yeah, so this is see his face right there. Little face sticking out. Uh I got him up in March, like March 9th. So I've had him for about two months now. Uh yeah, he's he's really cool. I mean he was my first ball python, and he uh, he's been off. There's there was like two weeks or so he was off feed or not eating, but then that's kind of expected with ball pythons. You know they they randomly will go off on food strikes, and it's just like one of the big things is not to worry about it too much because they almost always will go back to eating. But yeah, maybe I'll try to get him out. Yeah. yeah, this is uh this is him, as you can see. He's uh I don't think he's in shed, is he? No, he's not. But yeah, this is uh Alistair. He's my uh my original intentions on him were I was gonna pair him to a Mojave or I was gonna pair him to Tacoma once when I got her up to size. She's she's smaller than this. Um, I was gonna pair her because the Mo I would have quite the chance with a Mojave Mystic, be able to get a, a Purple Passion, Mojave Russo, the Blue Eyed Leucistic, or Mojave Mojave, another Blue Eyed Leucistic. Yeah, so I mean, this is uh, Alistair, as you can see. He's very uh, he's very tense right now, but. Yeah, I got him back in March. 
so I've had them for about two months now. As I say, I, gen I thoroughly like having ball pythons, um, because I'm able to come home at work at like 11.30 or not at night, just take them out and just hang out with them for, you know, half hour, hour. Really nice. But yeah, Let's see if I can you know, take them out a little farther. Yeah, so this is, this is him, as you can see. It's okay, baby, I'm gonna let you back. So that's, uh, that's Alistair for you. He's, uh, he's, uh, my baby. They're all my babies. They're all my babies. I'll show you what I have them in actually. So this is what I'm rocking right now is the shorts and uh, sweater. So that's this is what I have them in. I can't flip that arm. I have them in a bin. Um, it's kind of simple, right? Have a water thing up there, maintain the humidity. Um, yeah. Then I have it. A thermostat and a heat mat. Uh, it's like sitting at 93 um, for where it should be going. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, now I'm going to show you a uh, Tacoma. She's the smallest out of them all. Uh, she's a little bit more prone to uh, striking. Which is perfectly okay because I, I have yet to be bit by a ball python. I've been bit by a corn snake. Just not. Which is, which, uh, again, corn snake bites aren't, aren't bad. Let's just look at this one. Just uh, the scariest thing about having a snake is just like being able to uh, know. In regards to how fast they will strike so basically they can strike faster than you blink so it's like but with ball pythons they can't strike from the side so if you pick them up from the back they can't really they can't strike you I mean there's 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 a couple of them that might like try to get you while you're picking them up but usually you know, they know once when they pick once when they're picked up they basically just calm down Anyways, enough about that. So this is Tacoma. I'm going to show you. Ooh, baby, you got a nice uh, shed going. How about that? You shed. Wicked. Yeah, so this is Tacoma right here. She's a uh, blue-eyed leucistic. I don't know if I can... We're going to put you in here, okay? It's okay, baby. This is a. Uh, let me try to show you Tacoma in a better way. So, this is a uh, Tacoma. She's a blue eyed leucistic. And it looks like she just got out of uh, a shed because um, her eyes were like, very grayed over. But, yeah. And it looks like she's still kind of in shed. But yeah, this is a... I don't want to keep her out for too long. And my hands are kind of shaky because I had an energy drink before this and I also have tremors, so it doesn't really help. Hey, anyway, this is a... This is her. And yeah. I got her... The reason why her name's Tacoma is because I... Uh, Got her off a morph market and it was from uh, uh, Washington State. I've been to Washington State and I was like, you know, why not name her after a town? So Tacoma sounded kind of cool. Yeah, but she's a mis mystic Mojave Russo. She has like purple on her on the top, so it kind of gets with the, uh, she's very timid. But yeah. 
Looks like she's she was still in the shed. Oh yeah, this is her. Okay. This is her. Pretty neat, right? Cool. Uh yeah. Because my original intention was to breed again, put pair uh a uh Alistair with her and have like three chances of getting blue eyed leucistics. But it kind of didn't end up working that way and just, just the time and stuff. Okay, so she's still in the shed. I'm taking that for sure. And yeah. So we got that going on. And I'm going to show you uh, um, the other one's face. And she didn't eat this week, or this weekend, so I'm hoping that she'll eat come that time. Get in there, babies. It's okay. And it's okay. Okay. All right, cool. Excellent day. You, you see my bag? How's it looking? Pretty s s snazzy. She just got the shoe. Okay, cool. So this is what the snake shed looks like. Right here. I have one for Alistair. I have his first shed, so that's gonna be in a baggie. Cool. Now this one, again. This one is this one. So this is Cheddar. Uh, I'm gonna show you. He's a 100% at pied banana. Got him for, oh, Tacoma was, or Alistair was uh, $100. Tacoma was about five, 400. And um, uh, bananas are usually around, uh, like you can get them for like 250. And that's what I got cheddar for. So, yeah. So I'm gonna take cheddar out for you. Um, now I wanted a, a, bana a banana for, just because of how cool they look. Uh, and again, like my original, my original plan was to uh, get, uh, my original plan was to be able to uh, pair him up with a, a hat pied, a normal hat pied, and have the possibility of getting a banana pied and a just a normal pied as well. See if I can focus. This is Cheddar, as you can see. He's a little bit thicker, thicker bodied and whatnot, which is kind of cool. I've had him for since April, I think. Yeah. April? Yeah, April 14th is when I got him. So he's been with me. He's been a consistent eater for me. So, yeah. And um, that's him. He's a he's het pied. The thing with is with pieds, visual pieds, is that they they can be very uh, very picky eaters. So that's why I don't want to mess with that type of project. And nor do I want to get into breeding. We can kind of see possibly like a little bit of pied patterning in the bottom. But yeah, this is what he looks like full out. As you can see, he's a he's quite the be a he's quite I he's I don't even think he's a year old either. But yeah, this is him. As you can see, and yeah, his name is Cheddar. I forgot what else I was gonna name him. I think it was like Provolone. But it's like Provolone doesn't really isn't catchy. This is Cheddar. 
I've said that a couple times already. Hey, he's he's a baby. He's my baby. But yeah. Anyways, so those are my uh, my ball pythons. Um, he has a very thick head, like a very thick head, and so yeah, I'm gonna put him back because he. I woke him up. Let's make it worse. It's okay. Yeah, I know. It's like a very, very scary. Very scary when you're a noodle of the head. Right. Well, it's a very scary place then. That's that's him. That's Cheddar. I'll put you back in. Put him in your ears. There you go. Excellent day. Now this is kind of uncut, right? Uh, yeah. So that's that. I don't know what I did there, but yeah, man. That's, uh, those are my babies. Um, if you want to get like a more in depth thing, uh, like with my lizards, I'll be getting a, uh, I'll be getting a, a rabbit this Friday or this weekend, a Rex rabbit. So I might do a little thing on that. Or even my bearded dragons or lizards could be like a little thing on that. But 70 minutes, who's going to watch this? I don't know. I'm just putting it up there. Just, for like uh, nostalgia, I don't know, but yeah. So it's really nice. I hope you guys are able to get out there and do something today because it's really nice. Well, it's New York, it is. But yeah, I hope this was kind of interesting. I don't know, but yeah. Hope you all have a uh, a great rest of your day, week, whatever it is. All right, stay positive and keep going. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.